Judy Garland's story is a Hollywood tragedy that reveals the venomous toxicity of the industry's underbelly. Marked by pure industry greed, it demonstrates the horrors of forced fame, particularly in early 20th century. Judy Garland was an American actress, singer, dancer, and vaudevillian. While critically acclaimed for many different roles throughout her career, she is widely known for playing the part of Dorothy Gale in The Wizard of Oz. She attained international stardom as an actress in both musical and dramatic roles. Fast-tracked through childhood, Judy Garland was unable to enjoy the frivolities of youth and was forced into crash diets and drugs from the pressure of her mother. She expressed her true feelings about her mother, describing her as the real wicked witch of the West. At the age of 19, Judy Garland married for the first time to David Rose, though the relationship was short-lived and was spiked by the shocking fact that her pregnancy was pressured into being aborted by her mother, husband, and even MGM Studios. This quickly led the relationship to break down, and Garland to spring a romance with director Vincente Minnelli instead, which too ended in tragedy when the actress discovered him cheating and she attempted suicide. She is a gay icon. In 1967, the advocate named Judy Garland the Elvis of Homosexuals, as a stage performer, she drew in masses of gay male supporters who screamed along to the singer's music and fought to touch her hand on stage. When asked at a San Francisco press conference if she minded having such a large gay following, she responded, I couldn't care less. I sing to people. And it wasn't just her co-stars who she was sexually abused by. In a biography, it was revealed that the teenage starlet was repeatedly propositioned for sex by executives at film studio MGM. They would make Judy's life miserable on set by putting their hands under her dress. The men were 40 or more years old. At the time she was filming The Wizard of Oz, she had started consuming more drugs. This included amphetamines and barbiturates, which allowed her to maintain a slender physique and stay energized. Her drug use severely worsened after the birth of her first child, Lorna, in 1952, when she fell into a serious postnatal depression. Judy Garland died from an accidental, incautious self-overdosage of the sleeping tablet she had taken since she was a child actress.